I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn technique to write down equation of the given graph. We are dealing with sinusoidal functions and we could write this equation in the form of a sine function or in the form of cosine function. So that is to say we can write equation in general as y equals to a cos of k x minus p plus d or we could also write this as a sine of k x minus p plus t right so in this particular video i will show you how we can get both the equations by simple calculations to start with we can get the value of a and d from maximum and minimum values of the graph so let's write down what is the maximum value so we can read from the graph maximum value in this case is 1 minimum value is minus 3 right now the value of a can be calculated as difference of these divided by 2 so a equals to maximum minus minimum divided by 2 which is 1 minus minus 3 divided by 2 or 4 over 2 which is 2 as far as d is concerned it is the average value. Average you take by adding them up and then dividing by 2. So we just add them and then divide by 2 which is minus 2 over 2 which is minus 1. Now as soon as you get the axis it's a good idea to sketch the axis which in our case is at minus 1. So that is the axis for us in the given graph right. So now we've got a and we got d let's see how to find k and p to find the value of k we need to really find the time period k is equals to 360 degrees if you are working in degrees divided by the time period if you are working in radians it could be written as 2 pi by the time period but the question here is how do you find time period now time period is the horizontal distance for one full cycle now one full cycle you could see good point to check always is two maximums or two minimums whatever right so let us consider the two minimums at this time now each division here is how much four divisions are two one division two divisions is one one division is 0 0.5 correct so how many divisions do we have one two three four so four divisions represents t as two units right this unit could be anything so at present we can say from here that t is equals to two units correct now we know t equals to two since we know t we can always find k so k will be equals to 360 divided by 2 which is 180 right or if you are doing it in radians it will be 2 pi divided by 2 which gives you pi as the k value so we get the k value now we are left with p how to find the phase shift now, that is one of the most critical things in writing equation for a trigonometric function let us try to understand it for a cosine function you know normally a cosine function starts with a maximum right so we are looking for the starting point the maximum so in this case we have two maximums very close one is here the other one is there both can give us different equations but they are exactly same right so let's see using this particular point it is how much units it is minus half right this is 1 minus 1 so this is minus half so that means the cosine function maximum is right there right so the wave started earlier so if you are considering this point in that case p equals to minus half if you consider this point then p is equal to how many divisions let's count 1 1 half 2 half 3 half is good right 3 over 2 so both values will give you two different equations in cosine and both are correct you get the idea so at times you can actually write four equations and that's kind of important for you to understand so let me write down the equation in cosine first right so let me write down here 
say y equals to a is 2 for us cos k we calculated as so let me write equation with with uh, 1 in degrees okay so we will write 180 right oh this is 4 okay so so we'll just put bracket let me forget about it for the timing and then we have x minus p if I am using this point, minus of minus becomes plus, we get plus half. Do you get the idea? And then the axis, which is at minus 1, so get minus 1. So we could write cos function like this. Okay, now let me use this point and write the second equation. This time I will write it in radius. Okay, I hope you are not getting confused, but I hope it helps. Okay, 2 cos, everything else is same, k value. We are putting the radian value which is pi, okay, pi x and the phase shift we are using 3 by 2, okay, 3 by 2 minus 1. Both are correct equations, degrees and radius. Let me put degrees here, okay, degrees for the first one and radians for the second one. I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. Now, let's look into the sine function. Sine function is when you draw you draw like this is it okay so it is always starting and going upwards starting from the axis so let us see where it starts from axis it starts either here or either there do you see so both can give us same equations i mean they may look different but they're exactly same equations so now this point gives us p value of 1 correct and this gives us p value of minus 1 so, we can write the equation as y equals to, you can also pause the video, write down final answer and check with mine, okay. So, we get 2 sine this time, right, 180 for k, so I am writing in, in degrees and x. So, first one I am using this point, minus of minus 1 will give me plus 1, do you get the idea, right, and then rest is same. And the second equation I could write as 2 sine using radians. I'm writing pi. If you are using degrees, write 180, okay? It doesn't make difference. And this is to the right. So this will be x minus 1 minus 1. So that is how you can write the equation from the given graph. And I hope with this example, you get all the ideas and concepts. And you are in a position to model any situation. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot more. Thank you and all the best.